Matthew chapter 18. At that time, the disciples came to Jesus, saying, Who did this grace in the kingdom of heaven? And he called a child to himself and set him before them and said to them, Truly I say to you, unless you are converted and become the life of children, you shall not enter the kingdom of heaven. Whoever then humbles himself as this child, he is the greatest of the kingdom of heaven. And whoever receives one such child of my name receives me. But whoever causes one of these little ones who believe in me to stumble, it is better for him that a heavy millstone be hung around his neck and that he be drowned in the depth of the sea. Woe to the world because of its stumbling blocks, for it is inevitable that stumbling blocks come. But woe to that man through whom the stumbling block comes. And if your hand or your foot cause you to stumble, cut off and throw it from you. For it is better for you to enter life crippled or lame than having two hands or two feet to be cast into the eternal fire. And if your eye cause you to stumble, pluck it out and throw it from you. For it is better for you to enter life with one eye than having two eyes to be cast into the fiery hell. See that you not despise one of these little ones. For I say to you that their angels in heaven continually behold the face of my Father who is in heaven. For the Son of Man has come to save that which is lost. What do you think? If any man has a hundred sheep, and one of them has gone astray, does he not leave the ninety-nine on the mountains, go and search for one astray? And if it turns out that he finds it, truly I say to you, he rejoices over it more than over the ninety-nine which have not gone astray. Thus it is not the will of your Father who is in heaven that one of these little ones perish. If your brother sins, go and reprove him in private. If he listens to you, you have won your brother. But if he does not listen to you, take one or two more with you, so that by the mouth of two or three witnesses, every fact may be confirmed. And if he refuses to listen to them, tell it to the church. And if he refuses to listen to even the church, let it be to you as a Gentile as a tax gatherer. Truly I say to you, whatever you shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And whatever you loose on earth shall be loose in heaven. Again I say to you, that if two of you agree on earth about anything that they may ask, it shall be done for them by my Father who is in heaven. For where two or three have gathered together my name, there I am in their midst. Then Peter came and said to him, Lord, how often shall my brother sin against me, and I forgive him? Up to seven times? Jesus said to him, I do not say to you up to seven times, but up to seventy times seven. For this reason, the kingdom of heaven may be compared to a certain king who wished to settle accounts with his slaves. And when he had begun to settle them, there was brought to him one who owed him ten thousand talents. But since he did not have the means to repay, his Lord commanded to be sold, along with his wife and children, and all that he had were repayment to be made. The slave, therefore, falling down, prostrated himself before him, saying, Have patience with me, and I will repay you. And the Lord of that slave felt compassion, released him, forgave him that. But that slave went out and found one of his fellow slaves who owed him, a hundred denarii, and he seized and began to choke him, saying, Pay back what you owe. So his fellow slave fell down and began to entreat him, saying, Have patience with me, and I will repay you. He was unwilling, however, but went in through him in prison until he should pay back what was owed. So when his fellow slaves saw what happened, they were deeply grieved, and came in to report to their Lord all that happened. Then summoning him in, his Lord said to him, You wicked slave, I forgave you all that debt because you entreated. Should you not also have had mercy on your fellow slave, even as I had mercy on you? And his Lord, moved with anger, handed him over to the torturers, until he should repay all that was of him. So shall my heavenly Father also do to you, if each of you does not forgive his brother from your heart.